What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be talking about how you can set up your station for live streaming. So I'm talking about with the PlayStation 5. So if you have your hands on the PlayStation 5 and you want to live stream your gameplay content, then stick around for this video right here. We're going to be discussing all the different equipment, all the different tools you need to set up your live stream stationing. To begin, I'm going to list out all 12 items you're going to need to set up your live stream station. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously your PlayStation 5. So the next thing after that you'd want to have is a TV. A TV is just about as important as the PlayStation 5. You also want to get an Elgato HD 60S capture card because in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it with a capture card. I already did a video initially on how to do this directly from the PlayStation 5. The next thing you're going to need is a good DSLR or a good mirrorless camera. You can always use one of those uh, little USB USB cameras, there's uh, a lot from Logitech, they have the Logitech Brio, there's a bunch, there's a bunch of, you know, those little cameras that you can use alongside a streaming software. I'm not For number five, you want to make sure that you have a good system, a good PC, a good streaming PC. There's certain requirements you'd want to have when you're getting a PC. The sixth item you're going to need are two microphones. So two separate microphones. They could be USB microphones or they could be XLR microphones. You want to have one USB, which is the one you're going to use to connect directly to your PS5, just so you can communicate in chat with people. The other one is what you're going to use to you know, talk to, your, to people that are watching your live stream. So you'd want that one to be a, a better mic than the one you're using for your light, for your chat, because no one's gonna really hear what you're saying um, besides the people in the chat. So it doesn't have to be of the highest, the top notch quality. But if you wanna splurge, go ahead and splurge. There's USB mics of all kinds, of all varieties, cheap ones that, you know, from 30 bucks all the way up to 200 bucks. You know, you can buy the Blue Yeti and use it with the PS5 as your chat microphone. You can also buy another one like that and use it as your live stream microphone. So you can buy two of those, or you can buy a cheaper one and an expensive one and pair them. So it's up to you what you wanna do, just get two mics you're going to need them to go along with those microphones you're going to need good headphones so you can use the Arctis 7p you can use the pulse 3d headphones you can use any generic headphones it doesn't matter as long as it has an aux cord it needs to be attached if it's a wired uh, headphone then it has to have the aux jack if it's not wired then you have to buy an aux jack next up you're going to need two HDMI cables so two HDMI cables to connect the Elgato HD 60s directly uh, between your uh, TV, your PS5, and your PC. So you have to connect all three systems to live stream effectively. You're also going to need about two aux cords. So two 3.5 millimeter aux cords. One connects between your controller and your headphones, and the other one connects between your controller and the Elgato HD 60S, because the Elgato HD 60S needs to take audio out of the console and from your party chat and transmit it online, as well as take it from the TV, so in-game sound. So you wanna have both sounds going through to your live stream. The last piece that you're going to need, uh, as, as, as far as cables are concerned at least, is an aux splitter. So a two female end to one male end cable. So basically this is how you would split the audio coming out of your um, TV or out of your game. So you would connect this to the controller to split you know, the audio coming out of the controller, which is basically uh, the chat and the TV sound or the game sound. So that's how that one works right there. Next up, you're going to need OBS Studio. So OBS Studio is basically the software aspect of this. OBS Studio is going to allow you to stream directly from your console online or even record your gameplay. It allows you to do a lot of different things, but mostly you know, to live stream is what people use OBS Studio for. So if you wanna learn more about that, let me know down in the description. I will make an, a more in-depth video about that because in this video, I'm not going to be talking too much about that. I'm just going to be showing you how it sets up or how it works. Finally, and last but not the least, the most important piece of this entire thing, lighting. Unless you don't care about how lit up your room is going to be when you're live streaming, then make sure you get a good light if you do actually care. There's a lot of cheap versions online got a lot of ring lights, you know, different different versions. For any of the things I talk about, if you want to purchase any of them, they're all their links are gonna be down in the description. So go ahead and check that out. And you know what, let's begin this setup process. Okay, so we're going to begin the setup process by starting with the HDMI cable. So we're gonna connect the HDMI cable between the PlayStation 5 and the Elgato HD 60S. That's a very simple connection. You wanna make sure that you're connecting from this into the input and then directly into the PlayStation 5. Right there. The next thing we wanna do is connect the other end, the output, to the TV. So we use the second HDMI cable for that reason. 
So right now I have one end connected to the TV and this end uh, I'm going to connect to the Elgato. So this is going to be the midpoint between the TV and the PlayStation 5. This is what's going to transmit what you're getting out of, you know, console and the TV directly to your computer or your PC. Next thing we're going to do now is connect this entire setup to our system. So our computer, PC, Mac, whatever it is you're using. To do that, we're going to use this input right here, this USB-C input. So this is going to give us real-time feedback, which just means that we're going to see our footage exactly as it appears on the TV. So when you're live streaming, it's gonna be look exactly the same. When you're recording, it's gonna look exactly the same. There's no delay at all. The, uh, the older Elgato systems used to have, you know, a little bit of a delay. So you, you'd see it like a few seconds later every time on your you know computer than you would on your TV. Okay, so I'm gonna make that connection right now. The USB end goes directly into your computer, wherever that is. So I'm just gonna plug this directly into my uh, Windows PC, which is just, you know, around the corner here. Okay, so we've got one more connection to do to this HDMI or to this HD60S capture card. So one more thing we want to connect is input sound. So if you want to record, you know, everything coming out of the controller, I mean like party chat, everything, every sound, then you're going to need, you know, just the aux. So 3.5 millimeter aux jack is what you're going to need to, you know, connect this to your uh, controller. So this goes from this point right here to your into your controller, but not directly into your controller. When we get to the controller, I'll explain what part it goes into at that point. So I'm going to connect this end right now. Okay, so that's what you want your connections to look like on this end. I don't know if you guys notice right here, my cable or my aux jack is pretty long, but that's because it will be, you know, it's gonna be connected to your headphone as well. You wanna be able to move around more while you're playing a game or live streaming or whatever it is. You don't want a short cable. So keep that in mind what, you know, when you're getting your uh, aux cable for this part. Okay, so now we're done connecting everything that we want to the HD60S Plus. What you wanna do is slide that under your TV or hide it behind your TV or monitor, whatever it is that you're going to be using as um, your display and once you have that out the way um, you want to kind of get the PS5 out the way as well okay for the next step we're going to connect all the sound systems I'm talking the uh, mic the headphones you know everything you're going to be using to communicate between your party if you're going to be playing you know online uh, multiplayer games and also the mic you're going to be using to talk to people you know that are watching your live stream I've got my artist 7p headphones right here which is what I'm going to be using for mine you can use any headphones you want doesn't really matter as long as it's got an aux jack that can connect to your controller I've also got right here my um, dual sense controller which is what we're going to use to get the sound out of because otherwise you'd have to get out of your TV or directly you know into your headphones so we need to get the sound out of the controller which is what I'm going to show you guys how to do right here I've got the aux to uh, USB some kind of USB this is uh, exclusive to the Arctis 7p headsets or headphones so they're not you know they're not required you can have regular headphones with just aux to aux so double aux you know you don't need to have this style this style is just for the Arctis 7P. This is a two female to one male splitter. What this does is it takes in the game sound, you know, music, anything coming out of the console, and then it sends it out or it splits it at this end. So it splits it, one goes into your headphone, and one goes directly into the Elgato system. So when it, the one that goes into the Elgato system is the one that gets, you know, live stream. So that way you can hear it in your headphones and you can the, people can also hear what's, you know, coming out of the game on their end without the music you know, obstructing your mic because you don't want to have the music coming out the TV because it's it's gonna go in the mic. It's gonna go in, so you can't really talk at the same time as have that interference from the TV. You also need to do this if you want to capture uh, party chat. So if you're in a party and you want people to hear that in your live stream, then you need to get these for sure. So you grab the splitter cable and then you connect the mill end to your uh, controller right there. On the other end, what you want to do is you want to connect uh, the one cable or the one aux cable that we had connected to the Elgato initially. So you want to connect that to one of those points. So we send the sounds coming from the game directly into the Elgato, which goes to your, your PC. For the second female aux, what you want to do is you want to connect your headphones to that one. So I've got the aux for the Arctis 7P right here and I'm going to connect it directly to the second end right now. And that's the major part of the connection that you want to, you know, make sure that you got right. Make sure this part is actually like this. It has to be like this. The other end of the cable for the Arctis 7P goes directly into the Arctis 7P. Like I said earlier, you can just use the aux to aux for your headphones. So it could be any kind of headphones 
or you can just use like for example uh the cable that came with the arctic 7p if that's what you have this is just a simple microphone it's a usb microphone so all you have to do is plug it into your computer uh, using a USB. So that's how easy that uh, these work. We're going to need two of these. One for your computer and one for your PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 one is if you're going to be in a party chat like I said earlier. If you're not going to be in a party chat, if you're going to be playing solo by yourself then you don't need to get the second mic because you're not going to be in a party chat. So there's nothing to record. But if you're going to be in a party chat then you absolutely need uh, a second mic because that way because you can't use the mic that uh, on, your head, on your headphones. Your headphones act like pure headphones at that point. They're not headphones plus mic anymore. So you can only use one aspect or one part of it if you want to capture party chat. Because if you decide to use it as a mic, it's not going to get streamed. Whatever is you know being talked about in the party is not going to get streamed live. So that part is, is just going to get cut out. So we're going to need two of these. And what you have to do is connect this directly to your um, PlayStation 5 and then one directly to your PC. It's as simple as that. Okay, so this is a USB to XLR cable. This is just one of the one of the different type of ways you can connect um, a mic directly to anything, to a computer, to the PlayStation 5, whatever it is you're going to be using. So the mic that I've got is a USB to XLR, so I'm gonna connect one end to the mic, this end, uh, and, you, and I'm gonna connect the other end to the PS5. So all you have to do is make sure you have a USB end, uh, a mic with a USB end, and then connect that to your PS5. It can be a $30 mic, it doesn't matter. But use that one for your party. Use the higher end one. Get a nicer one, you know, that you want to use for your live stream. What well, all you have to do for this part is just connect it. So just plug it in. That's it right there. Once you have one end connected to the mic, you want to have the second or the other end connected directly to the PS5. So this is the mic you're going to use in your group chat. You know, when you're talking to people, when you're in your um, party. That's what it is. Right here I've got a DSLR camera. You can also use a simple USB camera like the Logitech C920 or even the Logitech Brio, you know, the 4K Brio. You can use any of those little ones or you can, you know, go ahead and use a DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera like the one I've got right here in my hand. In order to use any of them, you're going to need a USB cable or if it's a USB camera, a simple USB camera, then just connect the uh, one end to your PC and that way it becomes the PC's webcam, which is how OBS works. It uses whatever the webcam of the computer is. So it can use your computer webcam, but I'd advise not using that. With this mirrorless camera, you'd want to use a USB cable. So this is the Canon EOS M50. For these kinds of things, for these kinds of cameras, you'd also want to have consistent power supply because the battery life of these things are not it's not it's not long enough or good enough to you know last you for a, a long session of gameplay so you don't want to use the battery power you want to use a consistent power supply so that's a separate piece that you'd have to get to go with your camera all you know most cameras can do this most DSLR cameras or mirrorless cameras can do this but not every single camera can do this make sure you're watching for that when you're looking for or shopping for a camera right here I've got two cables the power supply cable which is gonna po supply uh, power to the camera and then and the USB cable which I'm gonna connect to my computer so it can use uh, that camera as the webcam so I'm gonna connect the cable in first the USB cable and then I'm gonna connect the power supply at the bottom there and we're in business so I'm gonna mount this on a tripod and we're gonna see the end result of everything we've connected so far and go from there okay I'm now done with the connections and uh, now we're done with most of the hardware related part of this tutorial and I'm now gonna move over to the software related part of this tutorial so it's not gonna be that not gonna take that long I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm talking about I'm not gonna go in-depth into anything here because I don't want the video to be too long if you want me to elaborate on any parts of this video make sure to let me know down in the comments section so I can you know make another video about it or more more in-depth video about that subject okay so after turning on OBS which I'm not going to go into detail about in this video so OBS studio is the software that I'm going to be using to live stream there's a lot of videos out there already about the best OBS settings and how to use OBS to get it out there or to get your uh, game gameplay live stream out there if you want me to do a video on that let me know down in the comment section and I'll do a different video explaining the settings or the best settings you can go out with because it's just gonna to take too long if I decide to do it right now in this video so what I'm gonna do right now is talk about this entire setup that we've uh, set uh, connected right here right now we've got everything plugged in this is the second mic this is the one I'm going to use to talk to people in the live stream this is how I'm gonna you know chat you know so people can hear what I'm saying and then the other one which I showed you guys earlier is the one I'm gonna use to talk to people in the party chat so right here I've got my little monitor which is just 
uh, connected to my PC, my streaming PC. Like I said, you need a PC or a MacBook, a laptop, whatever it is. Mine is just, you know, a simple PC. So thing is, you want to have that and then you, you want to also have your camera, you know, kind of positioned in a good place out of the way. So you kind of have it right there. Mine is a mirrorless camera, so I've got the Canon EOS M50 right there. As you can see, it's all on the screen right now. The camera is recording what I'm doing as well as what the, you know is on the screen. It's also going to record sound. So all the sound coming out of the gameplay and all the sound coming out of you know your mic when you're talking to people in the party and when you're talking to people in the live stream. This is the complete setup. It don't, don't mind that it looks a little janky right now. This is a small room. If you have a larger room, even better for you. And do not forget, lighting is important as you can see in the video. Sometimes I like it you know, extra bright so I turn on double lights. You want it to hit from both ends of the screen or from both ends of your screen. Your screen should be at the center and both lights should be on either side of the screen. So one on, on one side and the other one on the other side. So both lights hit you directly at the center. Another thing you want to make sure you do within the PlayStation 5 in order for it to display because it will not display if you don't have this set and work uh, you know turned off so you want to go and disable uh, HDCP so I'm going to show you guys where to find that right here right there so HDMI and then HDCP so you see I've got mine disabled already you want to turn it off so this basically allows you to record gameplay stream it and all that stuff if you have it turned on you can so you don't record movies from Netflix using this system so you want to make sure this is turned off very important as well and you're basically good to go you just make sure you have everything connected right plugged as I taught you guys throughout the video and you're good to go but if you want me to go into more details on any of the subjects let me know down in the comment section for example the camera connections or the best cameras to use you know differences between you USBs and um, for example a DSLR or a mirrorless camera in this case different cameras you can use different options there mics as well different options you can use basic simple ones there's cheap ones and then there's XLR mics you know expensive ones different styles they all give you different features okay so that's everything you need to know about setting up your station so you can live stream your games directly from the PlayStation 5 it's nothing complicated so all you need to do is grab all of these different tools bring them together and you're good to go. So that's all it is right there. I hope you guys found this one useful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. You can even say hello. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon right next to the subscribe button So you can be one of the first to be notified whenever I drop a brand new video If you want to see some more videos like this one and you know what to do Make sure to click on the video on the screen right now, and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas, and I am out y'all